वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज अ डे टू ऑफ एडिट लाइक जीरो एक्स हंड्रेड एक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ब्रेक डाउन हाउ जीरो एक्स हंड्रेड एक्स क्रिएट दीज कूल कैरेक्टर्स इन देर वीडियोस एंड दिस इज एक्जैक्टली व्हाट वी विल मेकिंग टुडे यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दिस लुक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट ट्रस्ट मी गाइस यू विल एबल टू क्रिएट टर्स ऑफ दिस सिमिलर कैरेक्टर्स बाय जस्ट यूजिंग वन सिंपल मेथड मास्टरिंग दिस विल हेल्प यू ब्रिंग योर एनिमेशन to the next level so without wasting any time let's get into the video so for creating this animation firstly we select our shape layer and create a shape like this and select your shape layer and and set your anchor point in center like this after that go to the fill option and select the radial gradient and again go to the fill option but this time go to the fill color option and here you can see we have two color slabs so firstly we select our first color slab and set the color black and then we go for our second color slab and set the color to green you can choose whatever color you like according to your theme and this time we create a green color theme so that's why i choose green color after this you get this anchor point just simply select your anchor point and drag him like this just simply click this fill option and we need a darker middle so we just simply drag this color slab like this they automatically increase the middle point so once you done this press okay and select your layer and go to layer style and add inner glow then increase the size of your inner glow something around 50% and change your color to white as you can see my stroke is enabled so also make sure your stroke is disabled just simply press this button and hit okay and then also increase the noise something around 5% and also increase your opacity like this let's increase the color slab little bit more because we need a darker theme in the middle once you done this just press control d to duplicate your layer and drag the duplicated layer like this so this is basically your character body so we place him right here and then select your body shape layer and go to layer style and inner glow and increase your inner glow size like this but this is just for explanation i'll remove it later now simply make a precompose to your layer and click the circle mask icon and make a mask like this and hit press this inverted icon and open your mask layer and increase the feather value according to your shape now adjust your mask like this right now what i am doing now once you done this just select any corner of your layer and squeeze him like this Then enter to your pre-composition and delete the inner glow. Now select this pen tool and create a mask in top of your layer like this. What I am doing right now. So this is just for adding glow in your shape layer. And once you done this, just simply add a fast box blur in your shape layer and increase the blur radius according to your shape layer and set this glow according to your shape layer. and track with this to your bottom layer now just enable your layer by pressing this i icon now simply go back to your main layer and this time we add a face in your character so for creating eyes we use two balls like this by using circle shape layer now for adding smile we select this circle shape layer and make a oval shape like this and remove this fill option and go to this stroke option and enable the stroke in white color Now select your shape layer and go to this add icon and add this trim path and and try to create a smile using this trim path like this what I am doing right now Now once you done this it will look like this now simply add a null object and parent link all of your layers to your null layer and then make a another null layer select your character eyes and a smile shape and parent link them to your null too now it will look like this now go to your shape layer and select this round rectangle tool and add a shape like this now this time we going to create our character hands and go to this fill option and choose radial gradient and adjust your gradient like this now simply change this name to hand Now right click your hand layer and go to this layer style and add a inner glow and again increase the size of your inner glow like this and also change the color to white and press okay now it will look like this increase the size little bit more 
something around this and you can also play with the range once you've done this just simply place your hand right here and then adjust a little bit and then drag your hand to bottom now squeeze your hand like this and then select your hand layer and go to this rectangle part tool and increase the roundness now simply duplicate your layer and place your hand to other side like this and now our character is fully ready just we need to animate our character so for adding animation just add a keyframe to your null to layer and and increase the position like this this null is linked with our character eyes now we just add a animation to our smile shape layer and give them animation too now select all of your keyframes and make it easy is like this by pressing f9 in your keyboard and i also renamed my head layer because now we are going to animate him again add a position keyframe to your head layer now it's gonna look like our character is looking up now again simply select your head keyframes and add a easy ease by pressing f9 and one more thing is keyframes aren't always the same it's all depend on your animation so just adjust your keyframes however you like until it's look perfect now we just need to add this scribble line as per the reference so for creating this line we use photoshop it's easy to create here so we just make a project in photoshop so now simply select this brush tool to adjust the brush size just hold alt and drag with the left mouse button this will make the brush smaller and make the brush size something around 5 to 6 pixel and create a random scribble like this and now simply disable this background layer and go to the file option and then export and then export as now simply export this and save this in your folder now simply use 2-3 colors and make a different scribbles and just export them. And after you done this just simply import your scribbles in your after effect. And adjust them all together like this. If by chance you didn't like the color, you don't need to make another one. You just simply apply a tint effect. And now you can easily change the color. Now simply add another null object. The timeline is kind of messed up so you might not get it. Basically we need to scale down the animations. So just link all of the layers to null that aren't resizing properly. Now simply scale down your animation like this so we get a wider space. Now once again adjust all of your scribbles like this. Once you done this just make a pre-comp and press ok. Then add a effect called turbulent displays. And then adjust amount to 3. Add a keyframe to offset and move your timeline a little bit forward. And then increase the value of your offset like this. Now add an effect called deep glow in your layer and play with the radius and exposure. And then link your scribble layer to null 3. And now last time decrease the size of your scribble like this. Then make a fade out effect like this using opacity. Then go to your null 3 layer and add a zoom in like this. Select all of your keyframes and make it easy ease by using F9 in your keyboard. Now it will look like this. Then select all of your layers and enable the motion blur by pressing this icon. I think the animation is little bit fast so for creating smooth animation adjust your keyframes until it's look perfect. Now add a position keyframe to null to layer. Make an animation like this and select last two keyframes and copy them and simply paste it right here. And voila, your animation is now fully complete. And that is for today guys. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.